Ladies and gentlemen, this is Matt Hardy. I am here in Prince George, Virginia. People are going crazy. There's a nature boy, Ric Flair. Who's the man? Who's the man? Vader's the man. He's here. There's the Patriot. The Hurricanes here. Christian York's here. They're going crazy. It's another sold out house, big time wrestling. Come by Shop Matt Hardy. If not, go check us out. ShopMattHardy.com online. Adios, amigo. Hey guys, it is Matt again, and I am once again going to do commentary over one of my matches. Uh, the feedback and response I got to the commentary I did over my match with C.W. Anderson was, was really, really good. Uh, really positive. People seem to enjoy it. So I'm here to do it again. And uh, this match is against Christian York. It happened on March 1st, 2014, just recently. And uh, this happened in Prince George, Virginia for Big Time Wrestling, BTW. It's a great group. Uh, we were the main event. Ric Flair was there, Vader was there, the Hurricane was there, uh, Revy Scott wrestled Sojo Bolt, uh, a great lineup through and through. And Steve Perkins, the promoter, has a great group of guys and talent that he uses always, constantly. He's from Boston, typically runs in the Northeast, but uh, he came down south and he had uh, over 2,000 people in South Carolina and Spartanburg on Friday night. And this was actually on a Saturday night, there were uh, almost 2,500 people here. So he had a, a great run here. And, and one thing that I always do say about the South is, I appreciate the passion of the uh, smarter fans, so to say, in the Northeast because they are intelligent. But th there is nothing better than a true, traditional Southern wrestling crowd. You know, it's it's there. They're there to be entertained. Uh, they're there to cheer a bad guy and uh, sorry to cheer a good guy and boo a bad guy. And uh, th that's what we live for as performers. As a wrestler, there is nothing better. And when you have a good crowd that is is going with your flow and, and not trying to hijack the show, so to say. Uh, that, that makes your job a, a lot more fun and it also makes it a lot less painful because every time you get bumped down it doesn't hurt quite as bad. And uh, we cut out a little bit of the earlier gaga. We did a little yay and a little boo and the crowd was having a good time. They were entertaining and we were just kind of setting the table, letting people know who the good guy was, who the bad guy was. It was pretty obvious at this point. You know, and I have my uh, old famous t-shirt spot that I'm notorious for doing. But right now we're into the action and you see I am on a headlock and uh, right there there's a tackle and uh, I get the headlock again. You know, I, as a baby face, I like to get into the ring in the beginning and work a, a, a strong, uh, very stout strategy of, uh, you know, grabbing like one body part and trying to work it over constantly, doing some uh, small interactive stuff and, and not overly doing it because as a baby face, I like to save my bigger stuff towards the end of the match and, and make it exciting because I think that's when it truly counts. Uh, here you go, once again, headlock, tackle, and uh, obviously the theme of the day here so far of this match is that Christian York is having a hard time getting out of that headlock. And here he's going for a back suplex, but no! A big headlock takeover once again. Uh, funny story, but uh, it, it goes with, the, uh, goes with uh, the match right now. Jeff and I, whenever we would work a lot in the independence before we went to WWE, and he was Will the Wisp and, and I was Matt Hardy, Surge, whenever we would do like pick the guy for the back suplex and the other guy does the headlock takeover, we called it the top side. Uh, it's a piece of uh, information I don't think I've ever... Uh, ever released before, so you got to hear we covered the top side. Uh, and now Christian York is showing a little frustration. No clean break in the corner. He starts laying his shoulders into my gut, and uh, he's got me reeling right now. Christian is a, a really, really talented guy. I can't say enough good things about him, and uh, he's a good human being in my estimation for sure. Uh, I don't know if my opinion counts for anything, but that is my estimation. And uh, I, I love working with Christian because he, he, he gets it. He gets what traditional wrestling is, you know, the, the battle of good versus bad. And he, he can do very good, athletic, entertaining stuff, but at the same time, he can slow it down and, and be a character and really work the crowd and draw emotion from them. Because when it's all said and done, and he just spat on me right there. He, he literally spit a big loogie on me. Uh, he gets how to draw emotion out of the people, and as you can hear, that drew emotion out of the people because they were disgusted. They actually spit all over me. A huge loogie, a huge loogie was on my chest after that. Uh, here we go. Close on to the floor. Actually got my arm caught in the guardrail for a second. You'll see I acknowledged it a couple times because it actually did hurt. Uh, it's one of those things that was like uh, to totally accidental, uh, totally by chance. Uh, I hit him and bounced off, and the way it hit was caught right down between the guardrail. I'm going to stretch my shoulder a little bit. It's one of those rare things that that was nice. Uh, nice on his part, not nice on mine. I didn't enjoy doing it. As I was stepping back in the ring, he just happened to catch me with my feet in the ropes and gave me a neck breaker. And here you can see Christian York is 
is turning up the steam a little bit, uh, hitting some rabbit rabbit punches, uh, very quick, very quick shots, trying to, uh, to now that he's got me down, he's trying to keep me down, obviously. And to me, in traditional Southern style wrestling, you know, I know a lot of the uh, Northeast fans, or I would say the Ring of Honor fans, or the Extreme Rising slash ECW fans, you know, they, they don't always like to see the deal where the babyface is in jeopardy and the hill has some momentum, but, you know, when it's all said and done, that's what people want to be entertained by, because they, they want to rally behind they're a good guy and eventually see this guy make a comeback and that's kind of what we started to get into at this point as you can see and obviously my deal is to be resilient and here I am with uh, punches even though he's uh, got a little steam on me I'm not going to stop regardless and Christian York turns it around once again back to the neck and I like that you know when I came in through the uh, came in through the ropes and he caught me off guard he uh, hit me with a swing neck breaker and once again he went back to the neck so obviously I have a, a little bit of a neck injury going on in the match at this point so I'm sure he's going to uh, to make sure to focus on that and you know right back to like a, a choke and applying pressure to the neck and uh this is one of those things too uh and i'm a big advocate of this and i would suggest uh people that are up and coming and just getting into the wrestling business to make sure to kind of keep this in mind and eddie guerrero uh who's a, a great mind for the business and eddie was someone who truly felt the crowd uh he, he probably more than anyone else i've ever worked with he could go out there without having anything a totally clean slate and he could just fill a crowd and say we need to do this because of the way the crowd is is reacting to us and then he would learn how to to kind of build off that but you know you need these spots like this where he grabs his chin lock and allows the crowd to kind of catch their breath and understand what kind of action is going on to transition into the next series of you know pinfall which maybe is going to be a sunset flip here or high spot or whatever it is but but sometimes the crowd needs to stop and breathe until it's time to give them everything and you know like when you go to watch a fireworks show all the fireworks happen at the end it's the same thing with the wrestling match uh here we go the ref actually uh kicked his arms and i think the ref caught me coming up so i'm not sure if christian york had paid this ref off or, or what was happening uh true story all the refs that were booked for this show uh they weren't told they needed a license and the virginia athletic commission didn't allow any of the referees to go so this guy who refed years ago, he's had two neck surgeries. Uh, he came out of retirement, and they called him last minute, and he refed all the matches. And uh, you could tell he was a little rusty, a little rough around the edges. Hadn't uh, refed in a while. And once Christian and I got to uh, the main bulk of our match, it was kind of hard for him to keep up, I think. I'm not sure. Right there, body slam with a knee drop. Following up, it looks like some uh, Lucha Libre action. Christian York, not only a uh, Southern-style professional wrestler, but maybe he's also a luchador. And uh, as a babyface, I think uh, you always got to try and fight back. Even when this hill is, is kicking your ass and he's on you, you got to make sure to punch. You got to fight. Because when it's all said and done, I know the fans out there, they can understand you can be athletic, you can do flips, but they have to believe that you can fight. There has to be a part of them that, 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 that thinks, like, God, I wouldn't want to get, in a, you know, get in, a, in a fight or a match with this Matt Hardy because he's tough. I mean, that, that's what you have to convince fans of. And that's what uh, it, it's hard for some people to do in this day and age just because they can do all the moves great uh, and they can do anything athletically but sometimes it's hard for them to be believable, uh, believable as strikers and as fighters because like you know at the core of this stuff it's two guys fighting it out even though it's dressed up and there's lights and music and outfits and uh, drama you know and and we're out there trying to wrestle and, and win the match but not kill one another you know when it's when it's all said and done the fans have to believe you're tough and fight uh, right down by the hair. Jesus Christ, Christian, don't jerk my hair. I only have a little bit left. You're killing me, kid. Christian looks great, too. It's, it's really a shame that he's never got a, uh, a proper run like he should have had. You know, he's in ECW for a little bit. It closed down right when they were uh, on the brink. Him and Joy Matthews, probably known as Joy Mercury, uh, they uh, were right on the brink of, of getting a good push and becoming television superstars that shut down. He was in WWE Developmental for a while. He went to TNA. He was... Uh, under a gut check contract and had a couple great matches with my brother and Bobby Roode, but then he was shortly released. Here we go. An alternative to the superplex. I call that the snapmare off the top. And uh, a little easier for me, still hard for Christian. It's good strategy in my opinion. And uh, right now, here you go, you see a little bit of a, of a, a fight coming back. Trying to make a comeback. Short in Zaguri, I like that. Big fan of that spot. Neckbreaker. And let me see, is this enough to do it? Will this end at one? To, and no. It's Christian York. He's resilient. He's tough. I know this. So uh, 
I love it. This is, uh, to me, like uh, as I've said before, this is the most exciting part of the match right here. You know, once once guys, you know, get to the end and they start pulling out all the stops, they start hitting their big stuff, their signature stuff, their finishing moves, and, and the drama's there, the emotion's there, and you know the match could end at any moment. That is that is the most exciting time you know, for the wrestling fan and for the performer. And uh, right now I'm getting ready to execute uh, what I have put in uh, place of the leg drop, the most exciting yet boring high flying move in the history of the business. Bam! Elbow drop to the back of the uh, back of the neck. Here we go. I think it's time to set him up for that twist of fate. Oh! I've been eating super kicks lately. Uh, if I ever have a match with the Young Bucks, I'll be ready. Between uh, Christian York and C.W. Anderson, I uh, had my teeth kicked out both nights with super kicks, and uh, both were. Pretty aggressive, like we were in a, some sort of MMA or UFC match. Christian, too, like, uh, I just love his look with the uh, with the hair. He's got a great-looking body, really athletic. Oh, that was that was nice. Uh, knee off the second, right into the jaw. Very reminiscent of, uh, of a Daniel Bryan. Surprised at this point, maybe the crowd didn't start chanting, yes, 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 yes. Actually, they may have started chanting yes if we'd been in the Northeast, but... Uh, uh, Christian York, there he is uh, doing the setup for the Twist of Fate, my uh, taunt, the crab dance. And he, he, this kid's got some moves. Look at him for a white guy, he has got some moves. That hair almost makes him look like a Rasta man. Oh, come on, you can't hit Matt Hardy with his own move for sure. Come on, there we go. Counter into a backslide. Best counter there is for the uh, Twist of Fate. Oh, but a counter to the backslide into a little short DDT. God, I hate getting dropped on my head. <laughs> The older I get and the more of a veteran I become, I hate getting dropped in my head. Maybe it's because I've had hundreds of concussions in close life. If I haven't had that many, I've certainly had my fair share of dozens of concussions. Uh, wrestling is not easy on the body, but it is. It is one of the, the most addictive things you will ever do. Uh, once you get in that ring and you get the, uh, the feel of, of the crowd cheering and chanting and ranting and raving for you, booing and cheering man it's, it's it's something that is really really truly hard to get out of your system and, and now for me it's worked out nice so i can kind of work on my limited schedule and do what i want to and kind of call my own shots take off when i need to kind of pick whichever bookings i want and there's still a lot of good ones out there like uh, steve perkins here in big time wrestling definitely one of the best promoters i work for here we just have a, an all-out exchange oh and picked him off into the side effect here we go this could be it one two and three did he count three? Honest to God, I think the ref's hand hit three like I asked him. I was like, ref, seriously, that was three. The side effect has beaten people. I know some of you people that are watching this can know the side effect doesn't beat people. But, I, but I'm telling you, his hand hit three there. I don't think Christian kicked out. And I asked him, I said, seriously, in the match. The match should be over. I'm ready to go home. I have a four and a half hour drive right now, and I'm hungry. Let's go home. All right, here we go. Back to the twist of fate. I'm gonna roll up. There he is. Oh, he's got the tights. Oh, he's got it. The, oh. I thought the... Uh, the good guy was going to get a defeat right there. Here we go. Back to the twist of fate. And uh, I don't even know what this is. But I got hit with it. And I might possibly get beat. And that's going to be a close. Oh! His hand did not hit three. I'm telling you. I should have already won this match. I don't need to be taking any more bumps at this point because I have won. I hit the side effect and the ref counted three. I don't know why this match is still going on. All right. Here we go. Crowd's rowdy right now. I love it. What is Christian York? He looks like he has bad intentions in his mind. And uh, I don't know. Where are we at right now? We're probably around the 13, 14, 15 minute mark maybe. I'm not sure. I, I didn't have this thing out. I want to say our match was around 15 minutes or so. Uh, you know, our, our goal was just to go out here. This, these people, they'd seen legends. They'd seen Vader go out and kill somebody. They'd seen a couple real athletic guys. They saw... Uh, the Hurricane Slip, Wagner Brown have a great match, and we just wanted to give him a great main event style match. Here we go. Fight off. Bam. Christian York's down. Hold up. Hold up. I'm looking back. Now, this is Prince George, Virginia. Is Matt Hardy going to hit this moonsault? Oh, my God. We are going to switch things up. And there it is. Moon. No water in the pool. I missed. Bam. I, uh, I need to get my uh, hitting percentage up on that moonsault for sure. All right, here's Christian York, ready to finish it off. Oh, out of nowhere, that is an unfortunate twist of fate for Christian York. And hopefully for me, that means the end. And we got a three count. We got a winner. 
We got a winner. Matt Hardy has won this thing. And right there you can see it. The people are going crazy. Uh, I hope you guys truly enjoyed this commentary. I enjoyed giving it to you. Uh, it was a blast. This was a lot of fun. You guys be well and keep checking me out at Matt Hardy Brand all across social media. Adios, amigos. Keep coming back. I got a family to feed. Get rid of more.